So um, this ad is sponsored by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Good morning. This is Robin Norgren. I'm your host for Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. We're in the middle of the series right now called Help Me to Know How to Pray, and this is day number 10. So we're sitting in the middle of a pandemic. I am actually sitting in Arizona. And we've gotten word um, that we will be extending out the time for students to be doing distance learning. And I am an art teacher um, by trade, and it's a very interesting time, to say the least. We'll look back a year from now, and what will we think about this time? Reminds me of a a proverb I heard a couple weeks back, and I won't say where it derives, though you've probably heard it before because I don't want to get it wrong. It's definitely not my work, but um, it's a story of a man um, who has a farm and a family, and he has someone who comes and reports to him. Um, y- your your crops, they grew the best that they could ever grow, and um, and he... and he says, congratulations to you. And he says, who knows whether this is good or bad. And then the same messenger comes and says, there was a fire last night and it wipes out all your crops. I'm so sorry for you. And the man replies, who's to say if this is good or bad? And then he said, oh, I see that your horse has run off. I'm so sorry. I, I can't believe this has happened to you. And the man replies, who's to say if it's good or bad? And then he says, oh, I see out in the field there's 20 horses, and your horses come back. And he says, who's to say if that's good or bad? And then the messenger says, I'm sorry to report that your son has broken his leg while working out in the field. And the man replies, who's to say if it's good or bad? And then it became a wartime in the country, and the the messenger says, Oh, your son won't have to go. And the man replies, Who's to say if it's good or bad? I've been thinking a lot about that lately. That we are so quick to judge what the circumstance is in front of us. And really, who's to say if it's good or bad? And so for me, those are the times where I find my heart most wanting to pray. And perhaps it's difficult to find the actual words to pray. So this is what the series is about. I will read some verses, and then I take the psalm for the day. This being the 10th day, it will be Psalm 10. And I will read those words in a posture of prayer. You may listen to the words, allow them to be prayed over you. You can use them as a walking meditation. You can use them when you need just a moment of clarity and um, just calming. Or when you're driving in the car. Here are the verses for the prayers today. Psalm 145, 1 through 3. 
I will exalt you, my God and King. I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great are you, Lord, and most worthy of praise. Your greatness is unsearchable. Job 37, 22, 23. Out of the north you come in golden splendor. With you is awesome, awesome majesty. You, the Almighty, are beyond our reach. You are exalted in power. And in your justice and great righteousness, you do not oppress. Psalm 103, 9 through 13. You, O God, will not always strive with us, nor will you harbor your anger forever. You do not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is your love for those who fear you. As far as the east is from the west, so far have you removed our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so you have compassion on those who fear you. Second Chronicles 19.7 May I have respect for you, Lord, and serve you faithfully. May I do it with all my heart. Psalm 119.15-18 May I meditate on your precepts and consider your ways. May I delight in your statutes and forget not your word. Deal bountifully with your servant that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things from your law. Romans 8, 26, 27. Holy Spirit, help me in my weakness, for I do not know what I ought to pray. But you, yourself, intercede with me and for me, with groans that words cannot express. And he who searches my heart knows your mind, because you intercede for the saints according to the Father's will. Number 6, 24, 26. O Lord, bless us and keep us. O Lord, make your face shine upon us and be gracious to us. O Lord, turn your face toward us and give us peace. Starting with Psalm 10. O Lord, why do you stand so far away? Why do you hide when I am in trouble? The wicked arrogantly hunt down the poor. Let them be caught in the evil they plan for others. For they brag about their evil desires, and they praise the greedy and curse the Lord. The wicked are too proud to seek you, God. They seem to think that you are dead. They seem to succeed in everything they do. They do not see your punishment awaiting them. They sneer at all their enemies. They think nothing bad will ever happen to us. We will be free of trouble forever. Their mouths are full of cursing, lies, and threats. Trouble and evil are on the tips of their tongues. They lurk in ambush in the villages, waiting to murder innocent people. They are always searching for helpless victims, like lions crouched in hiding. They wait to pounce on the helpless. Like hunters, they capture the helpless and drag them away in nets. Their helpless victims are crushed. They fall beneath the strength of the wicked. The wicked think God isn't watching us. He has closed his eyes and won't even see what we do. Arise, O Lord, punish the wicked, O God. Do not ignore the helpless. Why do the wicked get away with despising you, God? 
They think God will never call us to account. But you see the trouble and grief they cause. You take note of it and punish them. The helpless put their trust in you. You defend the orphans. Break the arms of these wicked, evil people. Go after them until the last one is destroyed. Lord, you are king forever and ever. The godless nations will vanish from the land. Lord, you know the hopes of the helpless. Surely you will hear their cries and comfort them. You will bring justice to the orphans and the oppressed so mere people can no longer terrify them. God Almighty, we cannot imagine your power. You, Lord, are just and righteous. God, your unfailing love is as great as the height of the heavens above the earth. You, God, have removed my sins as far from me as the east is from the west. Lord, you are like a father to me. You are tender and compassionate to me. You know, God, how weak I am. You remember I am only dust. Your love, Lord, remains forever. Lord, you judge with integrity. You, God, do not tolerate perverted justice, partiality, or the taking of bribes. Help me, God, to be a person of integrity. Help me to have joy for following the instructions of the Lord. Give me the desire to search for you, God, with all of my heart. Help me to not compromise with evil. I want to walk only in your paths, Lord. May my actions consistently reflect your decrees. I want to hide your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. I praise you, O Lord. Teach me your decrees. Lord, bless me and keep me. Lord, smile on me and be gracious to me. Lord, show me your favor and give me your peace. Holy Spirit, help me in my weakness. When I don't know what God wants me to pray, Holy Spirit, pray for me with groanings that cannot be expressed in words. And Father, my heart knows that the Spirit, what the Spirit is saying, for the Spirit pleads for me in harmony with your own will.